Hi, and welcome to something brand new. Um, it's uh, Sunday evening, I've played a bunch of stuff today, recorded a few things, I was having a look through what's reasonably new on um, Steam VR-wise, and I came across this thing, which looks like a really, really cartoony version of The Climb, or something like that, but it looked funny enough that I should I felt I should give it a go. It was really cheap as well. It was like six pounds or something like that. So I thought, I, I, I can't resist. Oh, okay. That pulls. Whoa. Oh, no, 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 no. What happened there? Ah, okay. So I've put the menu on my hand. I was just grabbing the grab buttons. Ah, okay. So how do I turn? So moving with the grip button. Moving my hands like that moves me. How do I turn around? I'm sure we'll find out. Um, let's go back. Uh, right. Joystick walking. Right, joystick walking is nicer. Can I get smooth turning? How am I supposed to... <laughs> Selecting these menu options is really quite... Ah, there we go. Okay. So I just press. Oh, I think I turned the camera off. Let me just check. Right, camera's there. Okay. Right, joystick walking. Allow rotation. Okay, but it's not smooth rotation, unfortunately. Control of visible. Oh, I see. Yep. So don't want that. Controller directed walking. Okay. Yeah, I think. Um, okay, so I've disabled grab. It's taking a little bit of getting used to, but okay. Back. Comfort. Floor grey, airframe, yeah, room center. No. Well, unfortunately it looks like there's only snap turning, which is a shame. Performance settings, cut view distance, enable fancy lights, show particle, went around the... Okay. Uh, ooh, can I change my... Oh, there I am. Hello. Um, ah, so can I... <laughs> They all seem to be fairly similar. <laughs> That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Ooh, don't like the spider one. Don't like the spider one at all. Oh. <laughs> that one's awesome. I realise I've got distracted now by um, uh, shiny things to play with. Okay. Oh. Oh, shoot. I accidentally pressed the buttons. Damn it. I've forgotten what I've chosen now. Want, oh no, I've got rabbit ears for some reason. I don't want rabbit ears. How do I get rid of? <laughs> I've got a rabbit face and I don't know how to get rid of it. <laughs> I think I confuse matters. Because I like those glasses. Okay, so, oh. So you accidentally kind of press those buttons, it seems. Okay, don't want to do that. How do I get rid of the damn rabbit ears? Were they even an option on here? <laughs> okay, there they are. Uh, now I've got multiple rabbit ears. I think... I think I hit a bug in the game. I'm fairly sure I've hit a bug in the game. Okay, well, I'm going to have rabbit ears, it seems. Fair enough, that's the way it is. Right. 
I think the hand directed thing. Hmm. Oh, I can choose colours. I can choose colours. Uh, how do I do that? Ah, uh, move that around, presumably. Slowly though, it seems. Gotta move it very slowly. There we go. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. Um, so I want to move you. Not quite sure what it's moving with. The inputs on this thing are just way weird. Okay, so that's black. So what's this? I don't quite follow what the different colours are. Okay, I've got to move slowly. Ah, it's the fingertips. Right, okay. I see. Right, cool. So apparently I'm a rabbit. There's no getting rid of the rabbit ears. <laughs> All right, I'm fine with I just noticed it's got my Steam avatar on a badge. That's really cool. And I think, I can't quite see it, but it looks like on the other badge it's showing what kind of um, VR headset I have. This is so well done. Uh, I'm actually really impressed by this. Right, okay, so um, can I start? Do I get any kind of... No? Is there a tutorial? Tell me something. What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to do something? Climbing, okay. Um, but, ah, okay. So it's trigger. Did I make it? I think so. Jumping. I feel like it should be telling me something. How do I jump? Tell me something, robot. Okay, so that turns. Uh, so that's turning. I don't know how I jump. Okay, there's literally no instructions and the robot's not talking to me. Help. Uh, help. Any help? Input. I don't quite understand. Um, ah. Ah, okay, so... It's hold the triggers and do that, okay. But then I can't walk forwards. Hmm. Okay, this is a little bit. Uh, right, let's not do control directed. Ah, but as soon as I pull the triggers... Hmm. So I can jump. Oh, I have no idea what happened there. Am I finished? <laughs> Alright, this one's a doozy. Uh, jump forth. Don't worry about jumping on top of that block. Just, just hold down your triggers while in midair and you'll automatically grab onto the first thing that you can. Okay. And then you just 
Wow. And now do the other one. If you don't want to worry about falling off, you just put down a checkpoint by pushing the checkpoint button in your menu, and then just go for it. You know, you'll get it eventually. Checkpoint button in my menu. I feel like... Okay. Right, I see. Oh, this makes me feel a bit unsteady. Um, I don't quite understand the jumping up thing though. Hmm, I feel like I've missed out on some instructions. Okay, so that, if I do that, that makes me crouch down. Hello camera. Um, if I do that, oh, that makes me jump really high. Okay. Moving platforms! Jump onto them and you will stay on top. Grab onto the side of them and you will hang on. It's a marvelous invention. Go okay. for it. Okay. Um, let's just wait for it to come back. So can I step onto it? And will I stay on it? Okay, yeah, I will. Now what? Ah! Okay, come on. <laughs> Ah! Missed. Hey! No. <laughs> okay, let's step onto this. I'm not sure how I feel about the actual climbing mechanic in this. It's, um... It's certainly not as enjoyable as the climb too. It's a bit gimmicky, a bit too soon. I realise this is a tutorial. Ah, no. Nah. And this bit is actually quite annoying. Oh, I should have put down a... Um, checkpoint? No. Apparently I can't pull up the menu anymore. Alright, so I've jumped onto there. It's not letting me pull up a menu. Am I on top of this now? Yes, I am. Ah, I jumped over it. Oh. Okay, now I can pull up a menu. So apparently I can't pull up a menu while I'm on a moving block. If I'm understanding things correctly. Just turning my guardian around. Um, God, I'm not sure I'm even going to make it through this tutorial. Ah, so the lack of um, smooth turn is really disappointing. Ah, no. Oh, this having to come all the way back to the start thing is really starting to get on my nerves. That's my camera. I think I've lost my camera. Can't see it. Oh, there it is. Have I still got the bunny ears on? So, definitely a few bugs in this. Ah! Really? Oh. This is actually a really tricky tutorial. Right. Let's just get up on top. Okay. Got it. Can I get up on top? Yes. There we go. Am I finished? 
Okay. This level's a little bit more challenging than the others. Uh, remember, you can put down up to three checkpoints per level from inside the menu. Okay, hmm. so you just push the menu button. Checkpoints, they make it so you don't have to restart the entire level every single time you fall down. Just, you know, use them wisely and you'll be much less frustrated by difficult levels. Apart from when you're on a moving block, it seems. Uh, so pressing, let's put no uh, checkpoint there. So pressing um, B, no, pressing A or X turns you, which is very intuitive. I really wish there was a smooth turn though. The snap turn really gets on my nerves. Okay, let's put a checkpoint here. Uh, what's going to be the best way of doing this, do we think? So I can, so by the looks of things I can walk across, you know, kind of monkey bar across there. Or um, let's just use this thing. Having the completely um, flat underneath gives, it means that there is no sense of height, which is quite nice. Um, but it is still making me feel a bit weird. Okay, the camera's going to get embedded in something. Right, how's this going to work? Can I? There I go. Okay, so let's do one more checkpoint here. Mm. So I've got to, right, I need to steady my legs because I can, I know I'm going to feel like I'm falling. Okay, that was good. That was good. There we go. <laughs> Okay. You want to as in any sort of way that you want to play the game, you can play the game right now. Good luck. Yikes. Um, okay, and then jump over here, onto there, jump onto. Whoa, did I fall off? Uh, ah, okay, it just sent me back. Oh, I just noticed there's a moving block on the other side over here ah oh. okay so you fall down okay that that's a bit of a, a, a problem I would say in that um, there's no real forward momentum when you walk off a ledge you, you'd expect to carry some momentum with you which is a bit weird ah Damn it, I should have put the checkpoint down, shouldn't I? Okay, let's go into there. Let's put a checkpoint down. Let's jump onto here. Oh, where are you taking me? Oh, I see. Oh, I feel weird. <laughs> this isn't for the faint of heart, it has to be said. Okay, this is sort of fun though. So one of the things with this as well is apparently is multiplayer, which nobody asked you, Siri, um, which is actually kind of fun. Now can I, yeah, you see, yeah, this is interesting because I can't set a um, checkpoint here, unsurprisingly. Uh, oh, I can't. Oh, oh, that's so annoying. Where am I? Did I set a checkpoint here? I don't remember setting a checkpoint here. Let's assume I was smart enough to set a checkpoint there. 
I literally don't remember saying one though. So yes, this is apparently um, multiplayer as well. So uh, yeah, you can do online play with other folk, up to about 10 people I think it is in a map. Um, which I can see being kind of fun. At the moment I'm, I'm kind of sensing it's no um, the climb to ah uh, rival by any means. Um, but I'm kind of enjoying it. It's a bit frustrating um, having to stand here and wait to get back to this bit is you know kind of boring for example um, some of the, the mechanics don't quite make sense to me uh, the jumping's a bit odd um, and yeah this kind of thing here where there's a long run of um, chances for ah failing um, with no, ah, oh, now I carry some forward moment, momentum. <laughs> okay, I think I might forfeit this one. Oh, it won't let me. Really? Why not? Hmm, that's annoying. What's RPS? I don't know what RPS is. I'll have to check that. Okay, let's try once more. Ah, oh, sent me off again. There we go. See, that seemed like a bit of a bug in that um, everywhere else I seem to have had no forward momentum when I go off the edge of something. That time I did, and that sent this thing off on its own while I respond so having to wait around like that is a bit tedious all right let's see if I can do this that's the best way of doing this okay so it's a bit forgiving ah but not forgiving enough oh, for Goodness sake. Uh, did I? Yeah, there we go. It's just sent me off the edge again. Just managed to catch it. I mean, you definitely want a challenge, but this is the wrong kind of frustrating, I feel. Um, like this bit up here, Ugh. kids outside making a right racket suddenly. Um, there's um, there's enough scope for failure here that it's actually really frustrating and ah, not rewarding um, at all. I'd want to be able to actually set a um, checkpoint around the corner. No. Got it. There we go. <sighs> on the one hand, I'm determined to do this now. On the other hand, I'm like, yeah, okay, I've tried enough times. I'm a bit bored of this now. Uh, oh, what? I thought I had that. I'm a bit annoyed that it won't let me forfeit. Ah, oh, really? Right. Yeah, you see, I definitely carried a, at least one step of momentum then, it seemed. I mean, I don't regret buying this, um, especially for the price. As I say, it was about six pounds, I think. Oh, that's, there we go. I wasn't registering my grip there for some reason. Um, 
yeah so I don't regret buying this this is actually kind of fun I'm, I'm sort of enjoying it but at the same time it's actually really frustrating like this bit here that um, I have to wait so long to get back to this bit ah no still can't do it okay one more go and then I'm calling it a day ah oh, for goodness sake I think one more go and I'm going to call it a day on trying to get through this tutorial. Because um, that bit there is just hard enough that you really want another restart point just around here, I think. Okay. So I can't, oh, that was also giving me problems with tracking as well. I can't quite grab that. Ah, uh, and it just decided that I'd let go with that hand and I really hadn't. <sighs> okay, let's go back to the main menu. Oh, it's not even letting me go back to the main menu. Okay, so I can close. Oh, well, that's annoying. That's actually really annoying. So you won't let me back to the main menu while I'm in this tutorial, apparently. Can't forfeit. Can't go back to the main menu. Ah, come on, game. What, what if I actually do need to get out now? Like, you know, someone's knocked on my door and now I need to finish the game. Um... I'm actually a little bit annoyed about that. Ah! That's actually not fun. Okay, let's try again. There's, there's a great little game here. There's definitely a great little game here. But the tutorial spoils it but I found this with um, quite a few games ah oh, come on the tutorial needs to be you know kind of forgiving um, but like yeah I shouldn't have been able to start the tutorial with the robot following me around but me not being able to hear him that was like really weird um, uh, oh, for f nah, this is actually really frustrating. And now I have to wait around. This makes for a really boring experience, but apparently I can't get out. Apparently it's not going to let me even go back to the main menu. Like seriously? So yeah, I can't pull the menu up while I'm moving. Uh, right. But yeah, I feel this tutorial is letting it down. Um, I kind of feel like I want to come through this feeling like I've achieved the basics without... Uh, yeah, I can't make it further than that for some reason. Yeah, I, I want to be able to get through the tutorial and come out of it feeling like I've learned the basics and then I'm ready to tackle um, some real climbs. And this is just leaving me frustrated. And not in a kind of fun, challenged way, just more in a, oh, this is just so repetitive way. I wouldn't even mind if I kept having to tackle this bit from a much closer starting point. But the fact that I have to wait around for that moving platform... Ah, uh, nah. It, it's just so badly designed, this 
opening. Um, I'm really disappointed. I, it's a great idea. It's such a great idea. But it's let down by... Ah, no, you see, I've got to wait for that now. I've got to wait around for ages for that to come back round, which is just boring. <sighs> Do you know, this is one of those games where um, I kind of, from a Steam point of view, I'm not inclined to refund it because I can see myself dabbling with it some more. But I'm not sure I would recommend it. Um, yeah, you know, it's one that I'd want to review and say what I like about it. But also, I, you know, I don't want to give it, you know, I wouldn't want to give it a thumbs down. But at the same time, I want to indicate that I'm not <laughs> neutral on it. You know, there needs to be a kind of slightly thumbs down. This needs to be made less tedious, this bit. Ah, again, there's something about that bit, that jump there, that, why is it I'm pretty much consistently making that first one? But not that second one. I don't want to blame it on the physics of the game or anything. I mean, it can't be. I'm sure someone's done this. I'm sure this tutorial has been tested and things like that. I just need to send it my guardian. Um, but there's something about that second jump just isn't quite working. And it's making it not fun. I'm grabbing it. I'm definitely. I can see me. I can see my hand grabbing it. No, that fell off. Ah, oh, for goodness sake. No. <sighs> Where's the camera? I'm really disappointed by this game. I. It started off. It's mildly annoying, but kind of fun. But this is just, oh my God. <sighs> I mean, uh, I'll say this for it. Even though I'm, what? at least five if not ten minutes into oh that's it i've had enough of this now because it's just too tedious um it does have that one more go one more go thing i think the thing that really bothers me is the fact yeah what bugs me is the fact that it won't let me go back to the main menu that's actually really annoying Oh, look, again. I'm almost convinced now that it's actually not possible. That there's something buggy in this. I can't have missed that many times. That actually seems unlikely. No. Okay, I'm calling it here. Um, I can't keep trying this. This is just going to end up being boring. Um, it won't let me forfeit. Won't let me go back to the main menu. Oh, it has let me forfeit. Oh, so you have to hold it in. Ah. 
Okay, I'll let you off for that. <sighs> but again, that wasn't made clear. And I don't know what is RPS. I, I, what, what does that do? Um, I have RPS turned on. What, what, what does that mean? How do I get information to tell me? Um, uh, I'm kind of disappointed by this. Okay. Let's try. What do you even want me to do here? Ah. Uh, that wasn't a good start. Oh, so jumping's not even working now, it seems. What? So the jumping is working completely differently now. As soon as I let go of the triggers... What? This makes no sense. This makes no sense at all. There's no real consistency in the controls I'm finding. Okay, right, what I should do is um, set a checkpoint here. Yeah, the jumping's not the same each time. I, I mean, I'm happy to... Oh, why did the flag go weird? I'm happy to accept that um, I'm being inconsistent in my controls, but I don't feel like I am being. Okay... I set a, don't think I need to. Well, steady on. All right. Oh, really? Oh, that's actually weirding me out even looking up. Let's set a checkpoint here. What am I supposed to be doing? Oh my god, no. No, 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 no. I might have to nope out of this. This is actually getting into my uh, don't like heights thing. You have got to be kidding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Well played game. So can I? Okay, no, apparently not. You gotta keep facing this way. Uh. This is really quite terrifying for a tutorial. <laughs> okay. Let's go for it. I can feel I'm getting caught up in my cables. Also, I think that camera is disappearing into the... Um, ...build. Right, let's grab onto that. Climb up onto this, right? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> All right, I need to just... Um, there we go. <sighs> That's my last checkpoint as well. I do feel like this is um, ramped up in difficulty a bit too quickly. 
but at the same time, I suppose I'm doing it right. So I can't climb on that, so I've got to jump across onto this. Ah, damn. Try again. No. Ah, that didn't work. Just look ahead. There we go. Can I now stand up on this? There we go. Um, there we go. Up onto this. This is terrifying. Uh, oh no, the physics actually pinged me off. That was unfair. I actually, yeah, I think my body maybe got inside that block and it pinged me off. Do you know what? I think I've been at this long enough. I might come back through and try this some more. I suppose, do you know, I think the other thing that's thrown me is I thought I was doing a kind of tutorial. Um, the robot said some stuff to me that, oh, at least I've got my um, proper avatar now that I was trying to do. Um, the robot said some stuff to me that um, uh, made me think I was going to be doing a Where's the camera? I got, there we go. Yeah, the robot had kind of said things that made me think I was going to be doing a tutorial. So I started approaching it like it was a tutorial, but looking at this, I was doing actual levels. And there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Ah, why am I counting? It's actually named Doll. Um, I think I saw there was 20 levels or something. So, okay, 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 not too bad. I oh, actually, no, but they look like built-in levels. I'm confused now, very confused. Infinite checkpoints, ooh, infinite checkpoints. Always a loud punch. Uh, half gravity, double gravity, okay. There's a lot in this to like. It has to be said, there's a lot in this to like. Um, I'm hoping it's going to improve. The level editor thing is interesting. I'm not even going to try that now. I will have a look at things. Um, but yeah, this has left me weirdly frustrated and kind of hopeful, but disappointed as well. I feel things could have been communicated a lot better. Um, I'm not seeing any kind of help or instruction. Um, nope. What's here? Oh, that's the performance settings, isn't it? But yeah, it's just the weird things as well. Like, I, get, I appreciate the fact that um, just pressing buttons is how you interact with things. You don't have to do a trigger and everything. I can see why that is. But like, you know, while I was stood here trying to mess with various bits, it decided, um, you know, it just decided randomly that, well, not randomly, my hands were knocking these buttons and things, which makes me feel like uh, there should be a trigger option, you know, to do the buttons. Anyway. Anyway, anyway, anyway. I've just noticed as well that all these avatars are now coloured the same as me, but they weren't before. Um, there's a lot of janky stuff in this, isn't there? There really is. Okay, I like the shoulders. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in this that 
they've given some real thought to it, and I'm, uh, yeah, I kind of like it, but at the same time, yeah, it feels a bit buggy, quite a bit buggy. I'm kind of liking the avatars though, they're so fun, oh, I like that one, oh, I like that one a lot. Um, I think I'll come in and tackle some of these other levels. Where was the one that... So, so apparently the one I forfeited... Oh, I'm guessing that's the one I forfeited and that's the one I haven't finished yet. Because uh, it's basically saying it took me an hour to do that one. So I'm going to guess that that's... Um, how it's decided I forfeited. I'd have called it red or something like that maybe. Um, so maybe I'll go back and do that. Have another go. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, level six, best time. I kind of want to like this. And I do kind of like bits about this. But there's bits about this that have just frustrated the hell out of me. Um, I think it's another one of those VR games that suffer, suffers from not very good tutorialitis. Um, I found that with, what's it called, Skate VR or something like that. But they'd gone to the effort of having a tutorial, but they'd also left it so the tutorial was kind of frustrating. And in this case, because of this physics-based menu thing, um, Yeah, you know, like I was pressing a button, I mean already, you know, th th this was the thing that confused me to start off with because I was trying to do things and pressing buttons to try and figure stuff out and this menu just disappeared. And it was only by accident that I realised that I could actually pull it up on my wrist. But then interacting with stuff, I'd accidentally press that button without realising it, maybe while it was down there. Because look, I'm not looking at it and I'm pressing it. So I'd obviously turn the robot off and so then couldn't hear any of the early instructions so it wasn't clear how you jumped and stuff like that. Um, jumping is... Okay, so if you hold the trigger down too long... What? That cuts the jump shot. Yeah, it's not entirely consistent, uh, not entirely consistent, not entirely obvious either. Can I put half gravity on? Hey, that's kind of fun though. Well, I wanted to try and jump straight up. <laughs> Ouch. Hello robot, get out of the way. What happens if I turn on? Okay, so they're at least mutually exclusive. I actually feel like I jumped further with double gravity on. What? It doesn't feel like double gravity. Actually, I'm not even sure that's half gravity. Maybe that effects um, once you're in the game or something. <sighs> right, anyway, I'm going to stop. I, I, I'm kind of doing that thing of um, uh, just trying to get a feel for other things that it's got and everything. Um, it's a keeper. It's definitely a keeper, especially for the price. Um, I'm not annoyed at what I've paid for it. I hope there will be some work on kind of improving it, making it a less frustrating experience. Um, maybe also I should practice some more. I think the fact that the tutorial let me down, the fact that the tutorial wasn't talking to me early on, um, has made it more frustrating than it should have been. So maybe I've been a little bit unfair. Um, but at the same time, the game was designed in such a way as to make it that frustrating. So yeah, you know. <sighs>
I'll try it some more. Um, this also feels like it could be a fun streamable one, maybe. And actually, I can see this being a really fun one with other folk. Because um, being able to just stand back and watch someone else, you know, try and climb and fail and everything would be sort of fun. But from, what's it called? Forgotten. Climby. There we go. Seriously, like I'd owned it five minutes tops when I actually came in and ran it up. Um, so from my first dip into Climby, which has been frustrating and fun all at the same time, thank you very much for watching. And goodbye.